In fall 2007, we put in place a new MBA curriculum with more global content, more leadership development, and more personal advising to better prepare our graduates for our rapidly changing and increasingly global environment. Expanded leadership development means that all incoming students participate in a series of team-based exercises, personal coaching, and feedback to help them understand who they are and what it means to lead. I think the, the biggest thing that I want them to take away from strategic leadership is that their behavior is a signal. What I'm taking away that I think I'll, will be really helpful to me in my next phase of life is this concept of feedback that's frequent and often and thoughtful and specific that I need it, I owe it to others to give it to them, and so I think that will help me as a teammate and as a manager. I think a big part of being a leader is not just having the great ideas, but actually surrounding yourself with people who have great ideas and drawing those ideas out. I and mean, for me it was great because then it provided a whole quarter in terms of trying to work on that and test that out. After school I'm going to go work at a consumer finance firm and start up a new business line. So uh, we'll ideally have 10, 15 people working for it within the first year. And coming into school, I was really unequipped to deal with that challenge. The leadership fellows are the cornerstone of the leadership labs and they're the ones that really make this a transformational experience for their students. The biggest thing that I've sort of seen in myself that has helped me sort of show up in this program, in this experience, is um, resilience uh, and, and drive. When I leave here, I, I am actually heading to West Point and I'll teach leadership and management courses uh, to future Army officers at, at the U.S. Military Academy. My two main hopes that, that I, I would hope the first years would take away from this experience is one, that, uh, that leadership is really important, and two, that if they uh, are willing to make efforts and, and focus on uh, evaluating their own performance as they go along, that they can continue to improve their performance and leadership. My real hope is that my squad of first years came away with one or two things that they can really benefit from working on. I think a couple of things. We've been through these uh, leadership role experiences for the entire quarter, and honestly, when we all began, we said that do we really need all this? We, we thought that we pretty much knew what we were doing in our past lives and everything was fine on the ethical empathy front. But I think this was, the executive challenge was pretty much the day of reckoning where everything came back and we could see that we have learned a lot in this, you know, this entire time of one quarter. It was this practical experience to apply whatever we had learned and then also to have all these great people amongst you who are actually spending time with so much passion you know, and integrity and everything to sit with you and guide you made it so special. It's really all about pushing yourself and doing the best possible job that you can. And no matter what happens, I guarantee you're going to learn something today. What you're going to help us today with is really their final exam. All the stuff that they've learned in the leadership labs are really will be crystallized today as they present to you. And your feedback to them, your evaluation and feedback to them is, I think, uh, critical and sort of epitomizes what's happened in the last uh, term. It's a chance for all of us to see the incredible quality of the men and women that are currently enrolled in the business school and get our brains working on uh, how you might fit into our company. So I hope you had a fun day today and congratulations to all of you. The school has seen that all the business are becoming global from the smallest to the biggest and so by having international judges also uh, it brings a, a, a different perspective, which is now essential, as important as it could be the advice from a lawyer or an accountant or financial guy. So it's great that some international alumni are among the judges. They come in with a little, uh, you know, little fear, a lot of respect, and uh, some settle in very quickly, and some maintain a little fear, uh, you know, through the first, uh, you know, few minutes anyway. 
I think that they're um, probably a little bit nervous, but there's so much to accomplish in, you know, the half hour that they have to prepare before they go in there. So they're thinking through, you know, the details of the case, is trying to remember, you know, the frameworks we've taught them over the past eight weeks and really trying to refresh their memory and make sure that they um, think about every little detail in going in there. The students, uh, you know, are under a lot of pressure. You've got experienced people that have uh, uh, really unique experiences that are commenting, role-playing, giving them feedback. The students have held up remarkably well. Everyone really steps up to take leadership roles where, um, again, in other times people had English as a second language. In my class, we're less apt to be sort of in a leadership role, and now they just seem far more integrated in the overall process of the business school. It's very interesting to watch the students deal with things that come up in, in a day-to-day -day context in business, but you don't learn it until you do it, except at Stanford where you learn it here.